All right, this video has been requested from many, many, many goaltender parents in minor hockey, and it is how to stay square to the shooter. I got a couple tips. First off, when the puck is in the middle of the ice, you're gonna be obviously puck on body with tiny, tiny, tiny adjustments, and I'll go over that in a second. When the puck's on the perimeter, you're not gonna move every single second because if the puck moves a foot, you're still covering that angle along the perimeter. But when the puck is in the middle of the ice between the dots, you have to stay on the puck. So this is one thing that I see with minor hockey kids so much is when the puck is, when the skater is taking the puck across the ice, they're full on shuffling. And that's getting us either ahead or behind the puck. That, that is too big. We need to be able to use small adjustments to stay square, right? or a foot underneath, 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 and they say he goes to shoot. Well, now I'm gonna set my feet. Oh, he's not gonna shoot, it's a fake. Well, now I gotta keep my feet under me. But the biggest thing is keeping the, the puck in the middle of our chest, middle of our hips, I always say, in the middle of our hips, because our chest can be turned and our hips are in the middle of our feet, obviously. But if I always have the puck in the middle of, of my feet, my hips, I'm always gonna be square because our chest can be turned. So making sure that that puck is always in the center of my body and making sure that that puck moves, it's a small adjustment, small adjustment, small adjustment. And again, it goes to shoot, well, and then I can set my feet, boom, for the save. Again, making sure that we're not having big, big, big shuffles, that's very, very important. Some key tips for small adjustments. Making sure that my back leg, my back foot, is not dragging on the ice. You shouldn't hear your inside edge. If you hear your inside edge, that's not correct. Small adjustments, we're actually picking our back foot up on the ice. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You won't hear that inside edge dragging. That inside edge is resistance and slows us down. So we need to be able to pick up that back foot every single time. You should not hear that inside edge. Now when the puck's along the perimeter to stay square, well, we can play the outside in zones. You can check that out in the goaltender's playbook. We go over that. That's just for very basic understanding the perimeter. When the puck's along the goal line, I want to have that foot long sub behind my foot. As that player walks up the wall, well now my back foot's going to come with me. Right? If that player attacks me, he's now at the hash marks, I'd come off the post. If that player continues up the wall from the hash marks, then I'm just gonna take a tiny step. And again, same thing, if they get back into the hash marks, I'm gonna move into this area, get down. So it's, it's a lot smaller movements because you, you cover a bigger distance than in the middle of the ice. The middle of the ice, like I said, body on puck in between our hips with our small adjustments. You keep it in the middle of your hips, you should have success. Make sure you're not getting set too early and, or too, too late but making sure we're not getting set too early because if we set and they keep moving, then I'm either gonna slide into it or I'm not gonna be square, right? So we gotta be very patient with setting our feet, but those small, small, small adjustments are gonna help you out a ton. You do these tips, it should help you drastically with staying square and keeping the puck in the middle of your body, which is gonna lead you to make way more saves. If you like this video, check out our goaltenders playbook, over 150 videos and breakdowns of me coaching and breaking down videos to help you goalies, goalie parents, and coaches grow the position.